Hey guys, Christoph the Polish guy here and I'm going to review the Black Phone this new horror or more like thriller with few supernatural elements movie was a very good movie and I'm glad I watched it and I'm going to talk about it the movie was about this teenager Finney kidnapped by a serial killer and locked in a basement and also he was able to contact the serial killer's previous victims for a black phone, hence the title. And that was w where the supernatural elements come. But as I said, the movie was much more of a fl thriller because there were no like many supernatural creatures other than the ghosts of the serial killer's victims. Everything was very real and the main villain was very much a serial killer the types you could encounter in real life and The movie was great What I loved about the movie was for example the performances the performances were all great like the serial killer the grabber You really felt how evil he was and he and the actor did a fabulous job of portraying him the actor who played Finney was also pretty good, like almost all of the cast was great, even though I didn't know almost anybody, but they all did a fantastic job. I also loved the way the movie, how the movie set up the story. It didn't jump to the serial killer immediately, instead it introduced Finney and his life, his close relationship with his sister, how he was bullied at school and wasn't able to stand up for himself. It also showed us his best friend, Robin, who was actually turned out to be one of the victims of the serial killer, even before Finney. Yeah. But what I loved most about the movie was the tension. Like, I literally felt the tension. Like, when once Finney was locked up in the basement by a serial killer, by the grabber, you didn't like worry about him, you felt like you were him. Like, whenever he was trying to escape, I felt the stress he was feeling together with him. Like, I was worried the serial killer would wake up each time Finney was trying to escape. Or if he was doing something in the basement. For example, there was a moment where one of the former victims called him and gave him clues how to escape and Finney actually climbed out of the basement while the serial killer was sleeping but then the dog barked and Finney was caught. I felt fear along with him. Also the movie takes place in the 70s and it very much felt like 70s like it didn't like feel like modern times like and it was in some ways felt like slashers of the 70s and 80s and 90s like I will also talk about the characters I already said in the beginning the performances were great and the characters were great too like they were very relat relatable like Finney the Sphinx thinks Finney was struggling in his normal life before being kidnapped are very relatable things like he had no confidence he wasn't able to stand up for himself he also struggled in his family yeah those are all very, very relatable issues and I really like that and he as I said had a good relationship with his sister who was a very great character like she had dreams about the serial killer and later the house and she largely played a role in finding Finney because once in the end she recognized the house that the serial killer was hiding his victims in she actually called the detectives and they investigated the house. And as I said, the way she was supportive of Finney and helping him was just touching and awesome. I really love the dynamic between brother and sister in this movie. So yeah, overall, great movie. I strongly recommend you see it. One of the best modern thriller horror movies I've seen in recent years and I will give the movie a like 9 out of 10 so yeah
great movie, go check it out. And please press the like button, please subscribe to this channel, and I'll talk to you soon in another video. Talk to you later, bye!